This project that we've started, which focuses on the economic opportunities, is funded by the NTR Foundation and by Science Foundation Ireland. The timing is, is fabulous. We, we had a, um, an agreement in Paris in November 2015, signed by 195 countries, which really sets the scene, um, set out a, a very ambitious target for a low carbon future. That agreement has been ratified in a year, which uh, I understand is a record in international law. So it just shows the commitment, the political commitment globally to the low carbon transition. And what this project focuses on is making sure that Ireland can benefit from it, that we can harness that economic opportunity. So over the next three years, we have a team of 11 who will be working on different aspects of the opportunity and how we can harness it. It's an interdisciplinary project, so we have our core team of energy system modelers um, based here in the ERI. Then we have some economists, we have some engineers and some innovation management experts as well. The first work package, we call that looking forward and that's the energy system analysis. So we're looking at Ireland's energy future out to the year 2050. What will Ireland's energy system look like and what could it look like? under many different scenarios of different technology costs, different fuel costs, different uh, supply options. With our multiple scenario analysis, then we'll be able to look at which technologies are robust across a number of scenarios. Work package two then is the, the engineering analysis, so that's looking in detail and at how particular technologies might, how they would be implemented and, and how, for example, energy efficiency technology in a, f a factory or an industry setting, how that will be implemented. Work package three then we call the, the economic analysis or, or the value chain analysis. And this time we're, we're looking across the value chain. So we want to see what different parts of the energy system, what different business models, what different technologies, at, whether it's uh, energy supply or energy demand or smart technology to optimize energy use, how different economic opportunities and business models would would feature in for those different technologies. Work package four is when we look at the innovation system, so how would a, a technology be optimally deployed? And like we know that technology doesn't just happen. We know from EVs, for example, that there's it's a long road to get EVs fully deployed and so we're, we're looking at all that, that body of research to understand the challenges, barriers and, and enabling environments we need. Outputs of this analysis will feed into Ireland's innovation policy and innovation policy and climate action policy really need to work together in this area and, and we've been engaging with both the key departments in this area so far. So the, Department of Jobs, Enterprise and Innovation and the Department of Communications, Climate Action and Environment. This project is looking at economic opportunities, particularly for SMEs and indigenous businesses. We'll be engaging strongly with, with industry, with large and with small industry within the uh, energy sector. So the opportunity is immense. Uh, there is a danger that Ireland misses out and this project is trying to make sure that that doesn't happen we're going to be developing an app and within this app people will be able to explore for themselves what different energy futures look like. So from their computer, from their iPad, from their phone they can start to explore alternative energy futures uh, and in that way um, I suppose benefit and be able to engage with the work that we're doing.